Hello and welcome to another episode on the Stretch Street podcast. This is the Energetic EJ and I am super, super excited. You know why? Because everything happened so that this particular episode would not happen. But (laughs) I guess this particular message that I want to share on this episode is quite important and somebody out there needs to hear it. And it could be you. And if it is you, congratulations. This message is out to you. I don't even care how it comes out like in the production of it because this is not my regular production. But I'm glad that it eventually came out because it it was almost like all hell wanted to let loose so that this particular episode would not come out. But here we are, excited much. And I am so happy to be sharing with you today. How are you? How has your week been? I hope you've had a good one because I have. I mean, I have every reason to just sulk right now, but um, no, I'm not going (laughs) to. Especially because of the message that I want to share with you today. Um, And I'm super excited. I am so grateful for the journey so far, for the lessons learned and continually being learned. Because again, we learn daily, right? And because I've been doing this and also teaching other people to do it, the learning just continues. And I count it a privilege to be able to teach what I know as it concerns podcasting and helping people use their voices for impact, influence, and income. Podcasting being one of the methods or channels through which they can do that. And just in case, this is, you know, call it a shameless plug, if you will. But this is to let you know that I am also a coach. In case you didn't know, because I've not really said this out loud that much. (laughs) But I'm stepping into my own because I've just been humbled by the um, journey so far as a coach, having my own coaching clients and really zoning in into that space. And I, the more I do it week in, week out that I have my sessions, I am beginning to see um, how it is that, you know, this is a thing for me for this season. And I'm so eager to help more people. It just so happened that a lot of people who come towards me, who gravitate towards me are women. So and it's beautiful. I do not take it for granted. I am not neglecting the fact that as women, we need each other. And so if you are a woman and you're watching this right now, or you are listening to this, if you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Teacher Breaker, Hi Heart Radio, wherever you listen to podcasts on, I need you to know that you have a sister in me. And I am more than happy to work with you as your coach. To do what? To help you execute on your goals. What is that goal that you have? And it's even double for you if your goal is in alignment with you using your voice to impact lives. You have a story. You have years of experience. You are an expert in your field. And you just really have this hunger, this urge to come out and share your message and share your story and help somebody out there to make a different decision than you made, to take a different route than you took. Or better still, maybe you have been on track, pa, 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 and you really want to help people who've cut their journey short to help them take their own journey on a shorter route because you've been there, done that, and you want to show them the ropes. But you're a bit skeptical. Who is going to listen to me? Who is going to work with me? Um, are they even going to hear what I have to say? Will my, st- will my story resonate with the world, sister? Oh yes, your story will. Because your story is valid. And you are unique. There is no one like you on earth. You are the only one with your exact kind of DNA. You're the only one with your exact kind of pupil. You're the only one with your exact kind of tongue. Guess what, sister? Even your reproductive organ, you're the only one with the exact kind of design it has. So tell me, why wouldn't your story count? You are unique. 
and then there are people who would resonate with your story but if you're just like you know what it's a bit much it's big what I want to share I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it you have a sister in me and I'm happy to help you to take that next step to be able to make impact yes you have a sister in me you have a coach in me so please reach out I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video as well as of the audio podcast for you to book a 15 minute call with me so that we can you know talk and see if we are a great fit because as much as I want to help everyone I cannot help everyone I, I will not match with everyone. My energy level will not match with everyone. My competence will not match with everyone. So um, my personality will not match with everyone. So that 15 minute call is for us to get to talk and to see if we are a match. And if we are, then I can assure you that going on a journey with me, basically no, it's actually me going on your journey with you, just being there, being your guide, and I would love to do that. So please reach out if you know this speaks to you. Okay, let us come back to the episode of the day. My 148th episode. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I say 148? 147th. 147th episode. Today I'm sharing about, I'm sharing um, one of my stretch stories. Um, and I'll be sharing with you why I am so passionate about making impact, making an impact, making impact, whichever one you want to do, whether it's a particular impact or impact generally, I live, breathe, <sighs> impact. I know I am here for a reason and that reason is beyond me. It's beyond my wellness, it's beyond my welfare. But I have to be well to be able to make that impact. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit um, story about me, about my stretch season. One of them, <laughs> I've had a couple, but one of them from way back, early 2000. And I'll share that story with you. And then I'm going to leave you with three thoughts from one of my coaching sessions. Um, I am just so blessed with the clients that I have. And honestly, I want such clients who are ready to shift their mindset, shift their lives, but they are also very much aware and open to receiving feedback. And if you know anything about me, you would know that I thrive on feedback. Anyways, I'll be right back with my story, my life lessons, and then, you know, you have the opportunity to tell me what you think, to send me a message. You can send me a voice message on Spotify. You can send me an email to stretchstreetpod at gmail.com. You can send me a message on Instagram. You can reach out to me on Twitter. You, if, you, if you're on my WhatsApp um, list, you can always message me on my WhatsApp, okay? But please do reach out to me. And let's talk if you really need to talk, all right? But I'll be right back with my story. Don't go anywhere. Stretch Street Podcast. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Story time. And yes, I was wrong. This is the 147th episode so we have three more and then we'll hit 150 on the 14th of july 2023 so please join me on the 14th of july 2023 as i go live for 150 minutes to celebrate my 150th episode i hope you're going to join us um, on the party live and direct now story time story story <laughs> once upon a time 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 so this is the energetic UJ and this part of my story that I want to share. I've not really had the grace <laughs> or the courage, uh, shall I say, to um, share my story chronologically. 
all right but i've just been sharing packets and packets and packets of it here and there some in my book some in sessions that i've had before um but this is one of those packets okay so take me as i am because this is not all my story but this is one of them and because i really want to draw out some life lessons from it today now in the early 2000s um this should be between 2003 and 2005 thereabout uh, because I remember, I think in 2005, I got admission to Lasso to study theater arts, which, <laughs> imagine, no, 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 no. Let me pause there. Just imagine with me. Don't you think, like, look at me. Like, don't you think, like, I'm so gorgeous on the screen? I don't you think, like, I'm a performer? You get, like, if you know me at all, you would know that I'm really good at performing, right? On stage, right? So, like, theater art is my thing. It's my space. But guess what? That happened in 2005 and we couldn't even afford the acceptance fee to get into school to study theater arts. At some point again, years later down, uh, years later down the line, I also wanted to go for PEFTI, but I couldn't because at the time my sponsor was like, no, 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 no. Get to go and study something that would give you security of job. Ah, if I had known, <laughs> if I had known <laughs> that I am not cut out for the office life. It is true. I have tried. It's not working. So I'd rather stay where I am. Right now, so I, I consider myself blessed that I'm actually doing what I want to do. Uh, is it easy? No. Has it been rosy? No. It's been tough, but it's been opening me, opening me up like onion. Like I keep getting to know me on a daily basis. I keep getting to know a new thing about me, a new thing about life, a new thing about business, and that is just priceless. It's a blessing that I do not take for granted. I do not take it for granted at all. And I'm so grateful. Back to my story. So in those years, I'm sure, I, I think around 2003, 2005, yeah? My dad lost his job, 1999, just before he got into the new, new millennium. At the time I was supposed to um, finish my secondary school in 2000 but he had lost his job he couldn't pay for my final year um, fees so I was not allowed to do my exams so I was not allowed to write my wayek or my neko and so technically I'm a dropout of secondary school right so I had to do GC and other things to further my education but um, this story <laughs> is that in those years we were actually living in an uncompleted building like an uncompleted building, no plasters on the wall, um, the floors not floored at all. So basically there was consistently dust. Literally, if we wanted to, you know, just make the place clean a bit, we literally wet the ground just so that to reduce the dust. But basically we're staying, we're living in dust. At the time we were living with lizards, um, bats, uh, mosquitoes <laughs> those were our best friends and birds yes birds would normally just fly into the house you know randomly like, <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness but you know we were in that uncompleted building for one whole year and this is in Ijedodo in that's Ijedodo inside Ijegun inside a uh, Ali Moshe local government, right? Um, so, yeah, we were there. I mean, it was a three-story building. We were on. The, we were at the top floor. Uh, we had other people who also were having accommodation issues, and they had other floors. But we were in the top floor. Um, but one thing that I remember clearly was how content we were, and not content in that we're comfortable where we are, but we were content with what we had. Like that was all we had. There was nothing we could do at the time, right? And this made my family stand out. You can go and ask. I'm not sure if there will be people, but there will be people there because I know that at least one, two, three, about three to four houses around us on the street that we are on, about three of them, and the streets behind us, one of them, were all family houses where people who stayed there, it was their own house, right? So you can go and cross-check. But it stood my family out because these people where they stayed, we were just bubbly. We were very bubbly. My dad is a very jovial person. Oh, my dad was a very jovial person. He's very, he's a very friendly man. He's a very 
happy person as well. So I guess we all had the gene. And in my family, we are all talented and musically inclined. So when we started like this, is that we are singing, we are dancing, we are doing something, but we are just a happy family. And in that situation, and this is my number one life lesson, is that, see, no matter how hard your situation is, if you consciously choose joy and happiness, it actually strengthens you to go through that hard time. Otherwise, it is the sadness, it is the sulkiness that drains energy out of you and makes, you, makes your hopelessness become more hopeless. Right? But when you consciously effort and you know, consciously, intentionally choose to be happy, choose to say, well, you know, this is this is the one one um uh, I, I, I don't know if it's your black people that say it or Muslim that say it like uh, yeah, they'll say that be a dub agbakadara, agbakodora, something like that, like Amuolorani, you know, this is this is what it is, it, it is what it is, basically, it is what it is. So what can we do if we cannot change the situation right there and then? Are we going to kill ourselves by sulking? No. So we were a happy bunch. Uh, I remember at the time I was still like I'd already gotten into the industry at that point because I was supposed to uh, graduate from secondary school in 2000, but that didn't happen. So 2000, uh, late 2000, early 2001, there about 2002, I joined the entertainment industry and I decided to do backup singing. God bless you, Uncle Ben, if you get to watch this. God bless you because God used you for me and also Gina of Blessed Memory, Uncle Chris of Blessed Memory. God bless all of you for just believing in me at the time. I was young, um, so but they took me in, they, they pushed me up, you know, they allowed me, we started to play in bands and things like that. Anyways, back to the main story. That was number one lesson. The fact that if you choose happiness and joy, it actually helps you go through whatever hardship that you're going through at the time. But then again, is that, you know, for a whole year, for a whole year, we stayed in that uncompleted beauty for a whole year. And guess what? Without, we, we didn't even have, proper toilets. It was that bad. But living with mosquitoes, with bats, with lizard, walkego, birds, and all of all of the sorts, God kept us. We didn't have, in that one year, we didn't have any reason to visit the hospital. If we fell sick, it was just a little, like, normal malaria and things like that. But God kept us, me and my family, a family of seven. My mom, my dad, and my siblings, and myself. And God kept us through those seasons. And that is another lesson that I've learned based on that experience. And this is why I say, and I also named this episode, why I am so passionate about making an impact. It is because lesson I believe that to whom much is given, much is expected. And you would ask, what has been given? Well, life, God has given me so much hell. <laughs> if you permit me to say that, like so much trouble, so much challenges that I have been through, but they didn't kill me. So I, I am just a firm believer that I did not go through all those struggles for nothing. No, now. God is not a wicked God. No, 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 no. It's not possible. No, 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 no. I refuse to, re I refuse to stay with that explanation. Nope. No. I went through all of it. This is my story, okay? And this is my belief and this is what really drives me to make an impact that I've been given so much. That I can't even begin to recall instances that I probably should have gone I should have died. I remember one time I was in a, I was in an accident, and that accident, I they did, nobody knew where I was going to. Nobody knew where I was coming from. If I had died, they would they would have not even realized like where exactly did she say she was going? You know. So if I went through all of that, it cannot be for nothing. My life is meant to be a blessing to someone. My story, my existence, this is my belief, that my existence is meant to inspire somebody out there. And it could be you watching this right now. That is one of my stretch stories. And my life lesson is to whom much is given, much is expected. So I don't know if you're watching this and it's been like you are being picked on by life. 
like back to back. You've not finished sorting out one issue, another one is coming, another one is coming. But somehow, you can't even explain how you are still surviving. You can't even explain how you are still breathing at this moment. Take it that to whom much is given, much is expected. Something about you is so powerful that even the enemy is trying to fight it. They want to pull you down. They want to stop you from getting to that destination that God has declared for you, that God has designed for you, that life has designed for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. As long as you're still breathing, do not give up. Do not. Do not. Look at me. I'm not where I want to be at all. I am very far. And it breaks my heart all the time. But I'm not where I used to be. From uncompleted building. I'm not where I used to be. At some point in my life, I've been a landlady, right? Even though I've lost everything now, but I am still here. It means all is not lost. It means there is still more for me in life, in God, in purpose, in impact. And I'm here for it as long as God keeps this breath flowing in me. This is why I am passionate about making an impact. So when you see me doing things, it's not because I am disciplined. It's not because I am all that. It's not because I am a strong woman. It is because I have been given so much that I know that it cannot just be for sure. It cannot be for sure. It cannot be for sure. There is a reason I've been able to survive up until this point. And that reason is so that I can inspire you today, so that I can share this part of my story with you today to know that it has never been rosy for energetic EJ. It still not is rosy for her, but she comes up here every week. She comes up every day. Like at least if you follow me on any of my platforms online, you would at least see something from me every day. This is what drives me. This is my stretch story. And this is my life lesson. Much has been given to me in life challenges that I have overcome and I'm still overcoming, that I know that there is something more for me and I'm here for a purpose. I'm here for a reason to inspire somebody, to motivate somebody, to not give up, to give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dream. It's there is life and it's still going to happen for you. Just keep working on yourself. Now, there are three thoughts that I said I wanted to leave with you. And these thoughts were just dropped on me or shared with me during my session with one of my coaching clients. Number one is there is a difference between being busy and building. There's a difference between busy and building. And this is to you if you're currently in a job place or a career or something that is not your choice we have a lot of people like that especially from africa especially from nigeria my dear country a lot of people are living the dreams of their parents of their guardians they didn't want to study the things that they studied they studied it because that was what like hey you have to either be a, an accountant a lawyer a doctor or electrician or engineer at the time but your wiring, everything about you is speaking of art, 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 art. You are the one that would like to write. You are the one that would like to draw. You are the one that would like to speak. You are the one that would like to uh, 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 recite poems. You are the one that would like to paint. You are the one that would like to dance. But all along, you just lived the life of your parents or your guardian or the society dictated what you're doing. But right now, right now, right now, there is an outpouring of a revival in the hearts of people to say, no, 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 I'm not comfortable. This is not where I'm supposed to be. This is not what I'm meant to be doing. I have done well in this chosen field or this field that was chosen for me, but it is time for me to do what I feel I have been designed to do. If this is you, that line is for you. There's a difference between busy and building. But you are blessed amongst men if you are busy building. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you catch that? I'm sorry. It feels like I'm preaching, but oh, God, no, 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 no. This is a podcast. This is a podcast. <laughs> I'm sure this is the first time some of you are seeing me like this. Right. You are blessed among men if you are busy building. And what do I mean by that? So what is keeping you busy? is what your heart is in 
And so everything you do is layering upon each other. It is building. As you get more aware, you are building. As you get more knowledge, you are increasing and building. This is why I feel like I am blessed. I might not have all the money that I want in the world, that I need, but I am blessed because I am busy building. I am busy building. Number two thought I want to leave with you is, um, what's that thought again? Um, yes, you cannot get to where you are going to if you do not invest in yourself. Did you hear that? Should I say it again? You, my dear friend, Mr. Mrs. Daddy, Mommy, Uncle, Auntie, you cannot get to where you are going to wherever there is without investing in yourself. So will you stop shortchanging yourself and investing yourself? You can invest your time. You can invest your money. <sighs> invest your resources in you, 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 you yourself, you, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And you see why I say I'm blessed amongst men, amongst women, <laughs> amongst humans? Because God has just always positioned me in places where I'm constantly investing in myself. If it's not in my mind, it is in my body. If it's not in my body, it's in my finances or one way or the other. I'm constantly, constantly investing in me, in knowledge, getting knowledge, learning, unlearning, relearning constantly and it's a blessing i cannot take for granted liar mm. yeah that's the second thought i'll leave with you you cannot you cannot so start investing in yourself starting from this moment okay and number three thought that i want to leave with you is that you cannot want change for somebody more than they want for themselves ah, did you hear that ah. When I heard it, I'm like, hey, 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 please, wait, 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 let me write it down. You cannot want change for a person more than they want change for themselves. So this is me telling you, as much as I love you, as much as I want to impact you with knowledge, with who I am, with my positive energy and everything, if you don't want the change, if you don't want to put in the work to get the change, to get the shifts that you need in your life, <laughs> I can't want it for you, even if you are my friend. And honestly, I have experienced this one, one time, 100% one, firsthand. That's what I wanted to say. Firsthand. God has blessed me, honestly, um, in, being, in, in being surrounded or being in the midst of amazing people, geniuses, some in their classes, genius in their classes. But I did not get... As much as I had proximity, I was not getting what I wanted because as much as they wanted me to change, I didn't, I didn't see the change that I needed. And so I couldn't put in the work that I needed. And this is me who is constantly evolving, you know, constantly investing in me. So if it is hard for me to sometimes even still, you know, want the change that I desire, want the change that I, I deserve, enough for me to take action to change it how much more if you're not investing in yourself how much more if you're sitting down there and feeling and and, and, and calling pity party for yourself please snap out of it mm, snap out of it get busy building it is time for you to come out of the rat race and start to build get busy building invest in yourself and want that change so badly it pushes you into action I want to change in my life. I want to make an impact in my life. And that's why I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly showing up. And it's been a pleasure showing up again today on this podcast. All right. So again, I'm going to plug this in. I am a coach and I help people execute on the goals that they've set for themselves. And I would really love to help you. I'd really love to work side by side you on that journey to the next level that you want to get to. Mm, mm. <laughs> and, you know, I have that special ingredient, which is my positive energy. You can't, you can't work with me and not, me, and not get this ginger. It's not possible. No, it's not. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. So please, if you're thinking about an especially double portion blessing for you, if what you're thinking to do 
evolves around you using your voice and you using your voice being sharing your message with the world being being out there speaking to the one that you've been sent to if that is you please let us work let us work it is time you have procrastinated long enough it is time for us to work on that goal it is time for us to birth it it is time for us to give life to it and i would love to be on this journey with you wouldn't you like to be on that journey with me as your coach come on huh this coach you are saying like this <laughs> it's a special one no? one that you will so fall in love with eh? you'll be looking forward to our sessions every week honestly I'd love to work with you, but then I can't work with everybody. As much as I love you, I do. As much as I do, I can't work with everybody. So I'm going to leave a link to my meetings. Just book a 15-minute session with me. Use the link in the description of this video or of the audio podcast. Book a 15-minute session. Let us talk. Let me know. Let's feel each other's pulse. Let's know if we're a good fit. Because if we're not, I can't work with you. I can't work with everybody, honestly. And I know. I know. Ah. Thank you, Lord. I know because I've, I've, you know, evolved to that place where I know, hey, this person, nah, nah, nah. Even you will feel it, I can promise you. <laughs> you think you like me, oh, let's talk. Then you might be like, I don't even like, yes, it's, it's true. If you don't like me, it's good. It's because we are not meant to be together, right? So, but if we talk for 15 minutes and we gel and you're able to make the investment that is involved, then let us work. Ah. <sighs> Three months from now, Six months from now, you'll be a different person. Not because of me, but because you are going to put in the work. And I will be there to hold your hands, to cheer you on, and to help you with tools, with ways for you to achieve those goals. I hope you're going to reach out. Honestly, I'm waiting. But if you don't still, just remember that to whom much is given, much is expected. This is why I'm so passionate about making an impact and making an impact I will before my time here on earth is done. My podcast is one of the ways that I make impact. And I really do hope that since you've been watching or listening to my podcast, you've learned one or two things. And honestly, I thrive on feedback. So please, if you would do me a favor, in the comment section, tell me, you know, what jumped at you the most from this episode. Or you can also send me an email if there's any um, previous episode that has really spoken to you let me know that is how I also you know it keeps me going honestly like I thrive on feedback and I would love to hear from you please don't let me beg you now what would it cost you to just type, type a message if you've watched or listened to any of my podcast episode and tell me what it did for you how it helped you I mean that's the least you could do I'm not charging you to listen to my podcast come on <laughs> That was me pleading. Yeah, please, I beg. Yeah, please just send you feedback, okay? God bless you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys. Till I come your way for the 148th episode on the Stretch Street Podcast with the Energetic EJ. This is me signing out. Say, so remember that challenges are not exclusive to any of us. We all go through in our different levels and different phases. But know that to whom much is given, much is expected. Keep investing in yourself. Get busy building and know you that you want a change for your life. Want it enough to take action, to effect the change in your life. I'll see you next week. God bless you.